Greetings, gentle viewers. We're about to do something that surely draws in all the views. Research. <laughs> We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm the opinionator. And I'm we square. The only thing that would be better is doing math live. <laughs> right, so. We managed to make virtually no progress, but we did find out about Fenrir, and so now that we've investigated all the crime scenes, so we still don't really have too much of an idea about what's going on. N no. We I need mean, more stuff. Yeah, yeah. But what we are going to be able to do is get research on Fenrir from the document room with all, like, the special Illuminati controlled documents. <laughs> so, Fenrir, you mean the mercenary group that Mukuro was a part of? No, I mean the uh, Asgardian deity. What does that have to do with this case, though? I mean, how are we supposed to find out about that? I mean, how are we supposed to find out about... Ah! Isn't it obvious? Where in this school would you go to do research on something? The computer lab! Research. Are you talking about the archive? Why I'm... am I stuck with this individual? More like, why is this individual the one who keeps doing... <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this to the second game where <laughs> I understand the main character is slightly more competent <laughs> in the not important stuff. Right, right, right. It's not just me, right? No, I'm, I'm looking forward to it too. It's just that Makoto is, he just keeps doing <laughs> 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 That's right. The archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. We only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. Hmm. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Byakuya seemed to know the archive like the back of his hand, which makes sense considering how much time he spent in here. That kept everyone else from getting in. And he went straight to a shelf in the back. Ah, here we go. He quickly returned with a file in hand. You read it, Makoto. I'm far too busy. <laughs> Nobody can tell anybody the truth, can they? Take a look at this. I have no idea what this says. What language is this? How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Even if I did know French, that a single word of French, that don't mean that I can <laughs> read this stinking page! I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French unless, you know, they're French. Or possibly... I bet Yoko can. Well, yeah, she, it, if she's Mukuro Ikusaba, then... Well, whatever. I'll read it for you. But I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? I wonder what would happen if Yasuhiro tried to sell him a prediction. I'm giving you a discount because we're such good friends. I seem to have heard this before. So I like, so, so I like how he's technically reading it like over Makoto's shoulder or something. He has really good telescopic glasses. Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. Military contractors do engage in direct combat, no, though. No, no, no. Okay, I'm sorry, never mind. Too much real world, I know. Keep talking, or keep reading this document with small typeface with your <laughs> telescope goggles. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been evol evolved? They have been involved in countless military battles and operations. Most of what? Most of I can't talk. I'm very sorry. You most get of your face closer to the page, and then you can read it. <laughs> to simulate this, I am reading this from the other side of the room. <laughs> no, don't make this worse. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe there was a mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply imploded. Hmm. What? What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of... Now pay attention to this part. <laughs> Alternative reality! A reality ruled by Smash Mouth. Sorry, what? Well, it isn't. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are part of our world. 
their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. <laughs> That's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it, the report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? Okay, so the purpose of this was just to make us go Fenrir equals wolf. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. They got a tattoo of Fenrir. My God, could that mean? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Wow, already, huh? Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us, organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Huh. Uh, aging, I assume, is what he's talking about. How everything is sliding gradually towards oblivion. Mm -hmm. uh, this, just, this just goes along with Monokuma's rampant nihilism. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. Well, this one's an awfully special one. So the body is... I mean, the body is Junko, who is apparently Mukuro Ikusaba. Maybe. The body that does has seem to be what everything points to. The yeah. body has to be Mukuro Ikusaba. What, okay, here's, here's really what it boils down to. Mm -hmm. We're pretty sure the body isn't Kyoko. But, you know, right. maybe we're wrong about that. So that body is either Kyoko, Junko, or Mukuro Ikusaba, or some combination of yeah. two or three of them. <laughs> what an elaborate ruse. Everything stopped. We were allowed to keep a Monokuma robot. Mm-hmm. And nothing worked. And then Monokuma, acting the exact same way as he always had, showed up again. Monokuma never said... Well, he said that Mukuro Ikusaba was the one who was Making writing the, the regulations. Yeah. And we have seen Monokuma be like, it's time for a new regulation. Yeah. But... That even that doesn't prove anything. That doesn't say that Monokuma is Mukuro Ikusaba. Right. Because didn't he like it could say that, but alternately, didn't it take him some time to add those regulations in every yeah. time? Yeah, yeah. And he's even said when he was talking to the spy in that one scene, talking about the sixteenth student and the, the spy trump card, yeah. said the spy said, I mean Sakura said to Monokuma, that's your trump card, isn't it? The sixteenth student, something like that. Yeah, so that well he said it was his trump card. Okay, okay, there we go. So it seems to indicate that they're not the same person. Yeah, yeah. We just it, any of these things could be true. We just don't know. We don't know who the dang body is. Yeah. <sighs> in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later! This, this really is, I know I've said this several times, but this really is like something from Ace Attorney where you got no idea. No, no idea what's going on. We just, we're just going to have to figure it out as, as it goes. Basic levels of suspicions aren't going to cut it. Though, I mean, the best we got is the tarp and the duct tape. Yeah, yeah. Then the time has come. Uh, I do. I do think we we sort of didn't spend enough time talking about it. Uh, the idea that the arrows that the arrows were used to cause wounds on the body to make me make us think it was Junko. Yes, yes, that is that is something that is a very real possibility. Mm -hmm. I I don't. I, I, otherwise, why are the arrows there? What do the arrows do? They're they're what? Whether we're thinking that. Maybe that even is what Gungnir was, is those arrows in the first place. They didn't look like no arrows. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. And we were told that there were wounds all over the body. Ultimately, they could just be a context clue for Makoto. So, there you have it. Yeah. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial, which is what we just said. That's right. It would seem that way. Let's go. 
I wonder how this is gonna go. Not the, not the trial. I mean, of course I wonder how the trial is gonna go, but... Whoa, Byakuya and Makoto showed up together. I know. Does that mean something? Oi! <laughs> Coco's in here! Don't start talking like that! Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm kidding! God! We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? Oh, is that what they call it? Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off t together, just the t two of you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I have clearly gone down a terrible path as I am beginning to make jokes like Toko, and this is frightening. Also, Toko, come on. Who have, who have been the people doing all the work in the trials? There's been three of us. And we'll get to, to that third person is in a second. What? Are you jealous? Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself that I unintentionally placed in your head? Thanks, Yasuhiro. <laughs> it is all your fault. All of it is your fault, isn't it? So now that we have blamed you, let's pretend it's all over now. <laughs> Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. What? Please stop talking and brace yourselves. He'll be here any second. We have, we've talked about this before. And I guess we're about to find out. You know, at, at first we thought that it was Kyoko's body. Right. But then then we saw the hand and with the, the boots, fake nails yeah. uh -huh. in Junko's boots. And it was like, well, it can't be Kyoko then. Right. We have to find out for sure now, though, right? Oh, if the trial were... if Because if, Monokuma said he would drag in anyone who wasn't present for the trial. Yeah, I mean, we've mentioned this before. That's but true. it's like, here is the time yeah. where we're going to find out if... Like, Kyoko isn't here in the room at the moment, so she's either going to waltz in or, like, get dragged in or what. Right. Any second. He could show up at any time, but it appears we're right. Right. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But... We stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. Oh, if you wanted something weird to happen. No, uh, no, stop! <laughs> and then five minutes became ten. And that was when the commentators were like, ah, yes, vindication. <laughs> Why? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Maybe he died again. Oh, that would be fortuitous. Hmm. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here, or...? Or what? Jesus! No, I'm not him, but I can see how you might be confused. <laughs> hey! Did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Ignore these plebs. Well, that's normal. What? I made you wait. Oh, yeah. No, exactly. It's because we're missing somebody. Yep. Now, I guess, I guess as if it's somehow Kyoko's body, which... It's not Kyoko's it's body. It's not Come Kyoko's on. body. But if it somehow were, then Is we would... Is he going would... to drag in Bukuro? Bukuro? Yeah, yeah, exactly that. So somebody's got to be here. Like maybe now that we know that there's 16 students uh -huh. and he's officially said it. But we we both know that it's... It's not Kyoko, no. Yeah, it's because of it. we're waiting on Kyoko. You've got it all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? It happens so infrequently, I have to point it out. In other words, I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here now, can we? Huh? Well, what are you t -t talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been w waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. I know it's a common occurrence for you, but try to bear with it. This is still really tense, though, isn't it? Because, yeah. like, part of us is like, it's Kyoko, right? It's Kyoko, right? Right? <laughs> you know, like, oh, there's nothing unusual about the floor being wet. Right? I threw a bucket of water on her. There's nothing strange about that. Right? Like Makoto was saying. So, I mean, we are right. Right? Right? 
<laughs> but I've been waiting ten minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait. Right? No! Don't you start! And no, it is not okay! Do not do that! If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now! Hey, if Motokuma is starting to advocate for democracy, you know there's something wrong going on. <laughs> that means no, reject it! If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. I'm here, and no rules been broken. That's right! Right? <laughs> Kyoko! Uh. Kyoko, you're still alive? Uh. No, that's a, a g -g 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 ghost! Of, of course we're starting with this! Well, dude, just go poker or something. No, don't do that. You, Are you sure? No, you better not. Yasuhiro, what's gotten into you lately? She just might go, break my arm. Just go back to the whole occultist bullcrap persona instead of perv Suhiro like you seem to have become. <laughs> Agree with me. Right? Oh, no. <laughs> Stop t -t talking. Yes. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later. Right? Oh, wait, knock that off! <laughs> God, you know what I just realized? What? I just agreed with Toko. I'm so sorry. What? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Hey, no, no, no! <laughs> We've not gone down this, this rabbit hole! You're just mad and want to get her in trouble! Is that right? I made it just fine. What school regulation did I violate? There isn't a regulation about it. Am I wrong? Yeah. You're so selfish. So spoiled. You're right, there's no penalty, officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. Hmm... She no! I'll make sure you're sorry later. I doubt that he's just randomly threatening at this point. Right? So it's... I'm so sorry. <laughs> you'll never be able to move past <laughs> this. Oh, I, he's, he's just... He, he, he's just saying his usual garbage. That's true. But I was thinking about it. I mean, we, this is something we talked about last time. Uh -huh. Just to kind of reiterate it. Like, now that we know for sure the body isn't Kyoko's, which, you know, like I said, when we first found the body, we were worried about it. Right. But we didn't... But, but then, then we began to say, ah, no, it is not Kyoko and cannot be. But he still can't help that paranoia. Mm -hmm. Anyway, now that we know that for sure, so, so the body... The body is either... Either Junko's or Mukuro Ikusaba's. Or, or both. Junko is Mukuro yeah, Ikusaba, yeah. right? It has to be. Um, I mean, there was the fake nails, mm -hmm. there was the thin rear tattoo. Right. Why why would why would she have been wearing fake nails randomly? Yeah. Like that just and those boots. It just doesn't seem it just doesn't seem right. And oh my god. Huh. Well now that I'm thinking about it. Junko is the ultimate fashionista, right? Correct. Well, what was it that Junko was saying when immediately she was confronted with, oh, you don't look like a model? Oh, yeah, CG stuff. They CG all that stuff. Yeah, it was like, oh, yeah, everybody just photoshops everything. Yeah. So maybe it was like a disguise after all. Yeah. I mean, what that's if... a... Go hmm. ahead. I mean, that's just a possibility. That, that would imply that either... Mukuro dispatched of Junko and showed up disp disguised as her. Right. Like, before this. Otherwise, I don't know. I mean, presumably before all this happened, just so he could sneak into the game for whatever reason. Dang, I'm not entirely sure where I was going. Well, anyway, thinking about, like, continuing to think about that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we it's not like it's really new, but I hadn't thought about that that aspect of it before. But the thing is, is I mean, again, we've talked about it before, but we're just sort of refreshing you mm -hmm. and ourselves mm -hmm. yeah, over what yeah. we're thinking. But if it's just Junko's body because it has the wounds all over, the fake nails, the boots, well, Junko has this fin rear tattoo. That's true. Um, but if it is just Junko's body, Junko died back then when it when we thought Junko died, when it was apparent that Junko died, and then we didn't get a body announcement. When we found the body here, we got a body announcement, but doesn't that mean that it was already killed before? But like the body was already dead, so why do we suddenly get a body announcement? Okay, that's yeah. that's why I'm thinking yeah. that, that's why I'm thinking that Junko didn't die. But yeah, that then. makes sense. I mean, Even though there's all these wounds all over, that's I don't know. True, but, but there's some kind of chicanery going on. Like people can take stab wounds and be okay as long as nothing vital is hit. 
Well, right, or the, the whole or maybe thing could have faked. Or the whole thing could have been faked. When have we ever seen like like spears manifest out of the air and right? any other time? I mean, a spear gun didn't descend from the ceiling or something, you yeah, know? Yeah, and it wasn't the cameras, and we've been kind of focused on that. So if that happens to be the one thing that seems like it wasn't it, okay, you know, maybe it was. Maybe it was a fake body. I don't know, okay? <laughs> but there's something funny about it when we find somebody who's wearing Zuko's clothes and nails. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do? We're going to assume that there's something strange about it. Until something but, pops up to but counter. If, but if Junko died when we thought Junko died... Wouldn't that mean that the person who killed Mono, who killed Juko, was Monokuma? Yeah, that would kind of make him the blackened. Hey, didn't we already kind of theor Didn't I theorize about that? Like that? Yeah, yeah. This but was I mean, all we're set sort of, yeah, we're sort of yeah. refreshing it. But what about the regulations? Does it have to be a student, or could the headmaster be the blackened? A fellow student. But anyone. Mm. Okay, so anyone who kills a fellow student. I mean, that could go both ways, right? I guess, but the implication of fellow student indicates that they are another student. Yeah, I know, but then we also have anyone. Yeah, okay, I guess that could be taken either way. I mean, I, I'm inclined to think that it wasn't, but I mean, again, Monokum is an option for voting. That's true, he is. So, I don't know, anyway, that these are the things that we were thinking about. So, either, Mono, either Mukuro Ikusaba is Junko or is not Junko... But there's something funny going on. Right. There there has to be a connection though. I mean it would be like finding well, it would be like finding a body wearing Yasuhiro's clothes and having Yasuhiro's hair and then we're like supposed to assume that there's, for me. <laughs> that there's nothing to do with Yasuhiro. Yeah. Uh he did say that Mukuro was the one making all the regulations. Right. So if Mukuro is Junko, then she didn't die then. Because many oh! regulations have been made since then. No, no, no! No, you're right! If, if, if Mukuro is Junko, which is a huge if, uh -huh. okay? That means Mukuro is the one making all the regulations. Well, okay, but that would mean that Mukuro is still subject to the regulations. Because, yeah. because what the, 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 the regulation that Junko violated was violence against the headmaster is prohibited. Yeah. That's what got her killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she's still subject to the regulations. Yeah, because so is Monokuma. He'll follow the rules. I mean, he's already made it clear that that's important. And anyway, anyway, we've we've gone over everything enough. But that that is again where we are going into this. Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of you. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko. So you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God. I'm so glad you're okay. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. That is true, because... She is, I mean, she... Everyone has reason to be suspicious of her. Yeah. She just showed up. Even we had been thinking that she has been the killer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That she was the one who killed Mukuro. There's some... There, there is some circumstantial evidence for this. Yeah, yeah. So, and her being gone for so long, mm -hmm. it just seems to indicate that maybe we ought to be paying attention to that idea. Byakuya certainly thinks that. Yeah, but when do we take stock with what Byakuya thinks? Yeah, normally the thing that he latches onto is always completely wrong. It's like he doesn't go the full... Like, he, he, he doesn't go to the step beyond that. He mm -hmm. just goes to the next one. But he was so sure that Mukuro was Kyoko's killer. Mm-hmm. But maybe... Hmm. He's right! Now he's got to deal with the g, -g, g ghost Oh, for goodness sake! <laughs> like, totally scoob zoinks and such! I told you, stop t talking. No what? one gets your references. Why am I agreeing with Toko again? <laughs> the world has really gone topsy-turvy when Toko is right. Let's go. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped into the elevator. Master, w w wait for me. Uh, oh, Good call. God. Who knows what might happen to us if we take too long? Haven't we already just been told that the answer is nothing? Shut up! Bye. Don't tell me to shut up, Yasuhiro! I'll be happy when this trial is all over. Let's play their bullcrap! One after... <laughs> Yasuhiro! 
Maybe you did it, huh? Maybe it was you. Maybe you killed Junko and Mukuro Ikusaba. I stabbed her with my hair. <laughs> huh. Don't actually consider that, David. Well, you know, Yasuhiro was in the room with the plants. <laughs> and he was the one eating the chickens. And thinking about it, what about the chickens? We'll worry about the chickens later. <laughs> no, it, it can't be the body, it can't be the already dead body of Junko because of the chickens, right? Well, it's not because a chicken somebody... dressed up as Junko. Well, zombie Junko couldn't eat the, the chicken. <laughs> no, why'd the chicken disappear? We'll get to that. But I... I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. Kyoko, there were five chickens! <laughs> Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you... Did you eat a chicken? No. Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... Correct. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. Hmm. The one place we haven't been. We can't. The second floor. That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. No cameras. No monitors. Maybe well, once you get there, you've won, and then you just have to live out your life here. Maybe. Doesn't that mean, then, that we should get there after this trial? Yeah? Hmm. <sighs> I had no idea a body had been discovered. Wink, wink. Yeah? Then when'd you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement, and then wait ten minutes from the rest of, after the rest of you got here. That's a good point. Why did I say that? Shut up. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. Ah, that's why. Okay. I can't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? I suppose that makes sense. I wonder I wonder if she's going to be able to have some better insight into who the body actually is. Uh, probably. She's more familiar with poking at corpses. Well, yeah. You know, she's the one who's actually seemed to got some medical ability. Right. And maybe she's a member of Fenrir. Maybe she's not a member of Fenrir. It doesn't matter, okay? But the person who is dead was. Yes. Hmm. So that's why you were late. So you could be everybody's prime suspect. However, I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. And Byakuya still thinks Makoto is the prime suspect too. Well, we kind of, I mean, Makoto is suspicious. There is no, like, question well, of that. Most of the people with no alibis. Well, if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be precise, not quite. Hmm. In other words, I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. It was a locker. Really? I opened it up and there was a passageway inside. Maybe... Well, then what's, what does that key go to? That's a good question. Huh. Monokuma's secret tool. Just a second. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma! But, hold on! She stole a key, and then she stole the, uh, the other, like, key to the locker. The secret to tool. Key, the secret... No, because the thing she handed... Okay, I guess the thing she handed no. you in the envelope wasn't the other thing she stole. Okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I mean, that key to the locker, who knows why it was there. Well, but that's one yeah. of the reasons that we ought to be thinking... That, I mean, that's one of the things that's suspicious about Kyoko is in her room, she had, like, the woodblock key to the locker in which in, in which there was, like, a wad of bloody duct tape. And then arrows. Right. And and the arrows and this have, have like, become truth bullets, too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, because we were thinking that maybe... That, that whatever it was that happened with the duct tape had to have happened before Kyoko gave up the key to her. No, Kyoko has the secret tool, so Kyoko could get yeah. into her room whenever she needed to. That's true. Okay? There's just really nothing that was stopping her. Okay, okay. But maybe that's how she got into Makoto's room, which wouldn't that mean she had stolen it a while ago? Maybe Monokuma only noticed it was gone that time because she stole the key that one time. Like he never looked in his head in, in his office. 
I suppose that's not impossible, like wondering how long it had that she's had it, because you know the oh you were careless, like come uh, on, yeah. come on. Uh -huh. Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. Hmm. For her? That's a strange way to put it. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Why indeed? Well, thinking about it, there's still we still have no idea what the what did you do to my body right, stuff right, right. is all about. And we still don't know about the about her amnesia. It was uh -huh. like, was that what happened to the body? But Sakura also mentioned the modifications, whatever they were. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff we have really no idea whatsoever about. It might, maybe no one else noticed because, like, if she's got some sort of medical expertise, it would make sense for her to notice something off about the maybe. body. And Sakura is like a bodybuilder. Maybe like, it, she should be able to feel if something's maybe? off about her body. I mean, it could have even just been some sort of, like, implant to have to do with, like, camera tracking or whatever. But, True. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really like that. I think yeah. that's kind of, I think that's kind of weak. I, yeah, I doubt yeah. that's what it is. Well, I mean, another reason this trial is a crucial moment for her is, is her fighting off her own culpability. Right. Goodbye. Well, if that's all. I, I mean, we have been thinking about it. I mean, the killer can only be, like, Monokuma, Makoto, or Kyoko. Right. Right? Because because they... I still say it's still possible it could be Aoi. It's, it's not. Right, yeah, so exactly. So we can just ignore that. But, I mean, she was missing. And, and, Gen and Genocide Jill was also. But, okay, okay, that's fine. We'll ignore them. It couldn't have been Genocide Jill because the corpse is what made Toko turn into Genocide Jill. The blood. Well, while that's true, nonetheless... Jill was the person who was completely by herself and uh, was by herself for a while, okay, a that's longer fair. than normal amount that's of fair. time. Okay. It, it's just saying that she was by herself. If Makoto is suspicious because he yeah, was by you're right. himself, seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Huh. Right? Right. Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. Water on the top of the <laughs> upper torso that's wet means that the lower torso shouldn't be wet. Right. We're not overthinking anything at all, are we? Right. We never do that, do we? And the doors slid shut. Oh, hey, we don't need new assets. Check it out. Y Yasuhiro? Wh who are you? <laughs> this time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. Guess he's right, though. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes with preparing for an, an execution. In that dusky darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. But it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the blinding light of despair. Oh, God! Ah, I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. What's up with the Pokeball lights? I'm more concerned about the fluorescent tiles and curtains. Fluorescent? More like ultra pastel. <laughs> this is the ultimate pastel. The ultimate pastel. What does pastel have to do with any of the people who say could have died or been the... Yeah, what indeed. Right? <laughs> The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed! Uh-huh, yeah. No. I agree with you. Understood, understood. I'll... Thrills, chills, kills! Let's get on with the show! Wasn't that a pointless joke, though? No, shut up! Wasn't that, like, what he just said that he wasn't gonna do, and then the very next voice sample was a pointless joke and jab? Oh, of course. And so, the curtain opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment. 
A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. We actually messed around with our skills this time. Um, due to the accidental having to replay the beginning several times in a row, we have, you know, probably more skills than you normal. Right, right. But, um... You know, the part we have the most trouble with is the <laughs> bullet time battle. Yeah. So we went ahead and used the bullet time battle skills that we have, and they're really expensive, too. I know. I wish we could increase our influence, but ah, c'est la vie. Yeah, we had to actually take away uh, Lost in Thought and Cool and, co and Composed for it. I'm a little worried, but I'm hoping that by powering up the our performance in the bullet time battle will increase. Hopefully we won't have 8 million of them. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. You all already know this, but I'm going to repeat them anyway. You always do. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one... This time around, the trial may be completely different. It depends on if Kyoko is the killer or not. Yeah. Then I'll punish everyone besides the Blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. Yeah, we kind of need to get this out of the way before <laughs> we can do anything else, right? <laughs> this is rather the important part. To clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. I mean, it's not Kyoko. She's the right over there. Right. It's Kyoko. No, no other explanation. Yeah, the hero. Come on. But Kyoko's standing right there. <laughs> You're agreeing with Toko again. It's because Toko is having speaking with common sense this time around. What does that mean? I don't know. No, that's a ghost. That's not a ghost. I understand she's pale and everything, but come on. Just go poke her or something. You'll see that she's not a ghost. I don't think I want to do that. She'll break my arm, I'm sure. Then you know she's not a ghost and you're just screwing with us. Maybe. I like how she's not like saying anything. <laughs> They'll take care of it. I don't yeah. need to bother. But she has legs and stuff. That only makes sense if she's an eastern ghost. Oh yeah, that's true. Those are the ones with like the no like the little ghosty, tail sort of ghosty thing. tail legs. Yeah, see, if it's a western ghost, she could still have legs. Ah. Well, that's just because What they just said, right? She's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. I read far too many manga about the occult, which is bullcrap by the way. <laughs> <laughs> There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. And we're only in the very beginning of the trial. <laughs> oh god, we're in so much trouble! Okay, so I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Poker! I'm sure she won't break your arm, Makoto. Okay, in all seriousness, is Makoto actually, like, taking this seriously? I don't think he has a choice. We don't need to take this seriously. Let's just move on. Let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. One, Kyoko is living and right over there. Isn't that really the only one we need to worry about? <laughs> Her traits? No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. We actually are having to do. <laughs> well, it must be her gloves because everything else would have been burned away. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I mean, well, her gloves. Her gloves could have been burned away, her though, right? Her hands didn't look like they were damaged by the explosion, though. Or we wouldn't be able to see the back of them. No, her hands did look like they were damaged. But if the gloves if had it... caught fire, then the hands would have been burned and we wouldn't have seen the... No, that's a good point. Besides, the most important thing about that is it's not the face, which is burned up, and it's not the piercing glare, which, which is burned, burned up. up. So, I mean, that doesn't even make sense. So it's like, the gloves. Like, also the nails. I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. We you never can't even, wear those nails and those gloves. We never even thought of, thought about it from that perspective. Yeah. Because we never really, once we saw the body, we were like, yeah. oh, that means it's really, or once the bomb went off anyway, we were like, oh, that means it's not Kyoko. Yeah, yeah. So at that point... Because we never entertained the idea that Kyoko was dead, Yasuhiro. Well, we did until we saw the until we saw Junko's nails and right. Junko's boots. 
In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. Why am I indulging in this? <laughs> you happen to know the answer? Why are we arguing about this? Why can't you just take off your gloves? You know, it's like before, before Kyoko... There are some secrets that a woman must keep to herself. Kyoko doesn't doesn't seem to think of trust the same way as other people do. Like she clearly she clearly is really like a normal person. Yeah, you know, it's she, just, she you got know, amnesia. She got really upset with Makoto before over the perceived breach of trust, which mm -hmm. was really a breach of trust. Mm -hmm. Um, because you know she wanted she wanted to trust him, and she got she acted petty. And yeah, there was like a little fight that they had. Okay. But she doesn't reciprocate with certain other things. Like information, she happily she'll happily share with at least one person here. Right. But she doesn't want to share anything other than information. Yeah. Like nothing about herself. I mean, what what really would she lose by taking off the gloves unless she I mean, what would she lose? Nothing really. We know what it is. Monokuma told us. Yeah, with scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. Right, and and Makoto even went out of his way to point to to say and this this kind of surprising. We weren't expecting the game to take this tact, but to say that scars aren't tattoos. Right, like he said it right there, so it can't have been the same hand. Yeah. In fact, Monokuma told me. Yeah. Apparently, you have scars on your hands. You don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? That's correct. Probably just got burnt up in the explosion. That's wrong. Oh, I said that too. <laughs> I'm agreeing with Coco, and I made an argument that Yasuhiro made. Are you okay, Damon? What's wrong with me, Billy? It's okay. If it goes too far, I'll put you down. Okay, thank you. No I'll, problem. I need you to do that if it gets that bad. <laughs> just remember not to vote for me, everyone. Just remember not to vote for Billy. After I kill you and become the blackened. Don't give me that look! I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. Okay. Okay, man. <laughs> there's there's no way that corpse was Kyoko. Primarily because Kyoko is right here! But if I can't prove why, we're gonna be stuck here because Yasuhiro won't let us move forward. Now, now, everyone, do we really need Yasuhiro to go along with the rest of the freaking trial? Is he really going to be any help? So I don't have any choice but to waste everyone's time with an argument about this. Oh, excellent. I'm just so glad this is happening. Well, it's either the fake nails or the tattoo. Yeah. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. She's she's that body wasn't wearing gloves. That's true. That's true. Burnt up in the explosion. I'm a ghost interested. Gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah. Uh, must have been, been this one. Because that corpse is absolutely Joko. Must have been wearing the gloves. Okay, yeah. It has to be the fake nails. I mean, you can't wear fake nails and those gloves. Ha! Pow! Nice. No, there's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails. Remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. I can also imagine that. Fake nails. It does seem so weird that Mukuro would be wearing fake nails. If she wasn't Junko. I mean, that was one of Junko's defining traits, was the fake nails. Okay, so so maybe Mukuro does wear fake nails, but then you also need to explain the boots. Right. How is this not a coincidence? Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. Don't you oh yeah, that, that makes perfect sense. I never even thought of it like that, but yeah, absolutely. Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? You're complicated like that. Not like I know women, but you know. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. He doesn't know very many things at all, and certainly not women. Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? <laughs> I think this is all just a big waste of time. These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. You remember that? Why do you know that? 
I, well, she doesn't. It's not complete amnesia. Come on. I don't know. She couldn't answer basic questions in that one event with Makoto. Well, maybe the fact that wearing them, she can tell how dexterous she is while wearing them. Maybe. So that only makes sense. Maybe. Anyway. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. That's the that's the relevant point here. And that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. So we're done with this, right? And we can actually move on to yes. the trial? Yes. That should have been obvious. <laughs> she's standing right here. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, there is only one person here who is complaining about this, and that's Mr. The Occult is the Bullcrap Jr. <laughs> okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. Yeah! Now don't you start! <laughs> you just flip flop right away, and now you're trying to act all serious! Listen, voice in my head, are you really surprised at this point? Let's play their bullcrap! <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> First thing I said, you're the one who's been <laughs> <laughs> But not laughless. That's true. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. That's correct. Right into another argument. But how are we gonna, what do we have? Uh, well, the tattoo, I guess. Yeah, cause that'll identify him as Fenrir. Exploded body analysis. Now don't start this. Okay. Okay, okay that's good. Be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. That's true. Well, if we can't identify the body... It'd have to be this, right? Then there's nothing else we can do, right? Because the yeah, face thing yeah. was correct. The face was scorched beyond recognition. Right, and that that's all it was, right? It was face yeah. and... And then identify the body. Yeah, so it's got to be the tattoo. The face was scorched ah, and there wasn't any description in the mind. That was beautiful. That. Shut up. Oh, poo! No, that's wrong. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Most of the time, one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. Most of the time, we derp around in the very beginning of a trial, and lose all our influence, and then spend the rest of the trial trying to get it back. And so it makes it way more tense. We're not going to do that this time. Do you believe us? But we haven't been doing that so far. What's going on? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, right? Right. What? For real? For real? Oh, sorry. Everyone, I'm <laughs> the wrong game. I'll just show myself out. <laughs> if you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. That sounds like something I'd say. I guess you'll be haunted. I guess Yasuhiro has been uh, drifting into Persona recently. <laughs> This I gotta see. Oh yeah! I'm into that! Anyway! Right, only only Byakuya and Makoto know about this because the research. Oh, yeah. Right. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? I'm the only person who looked at it straight on and didn't see the, the, the wolf right away. Instead, I see, like, the Charlie's Angels silhouettes. It's, <laughs> it's just me. It's sad, I know. Now I'm even making Yasuhiro's argument. <laughs> it's okay, David. I think Toko is sensible. <laughs> it's all right, David. It's all right. It's, it's too late. It's all gotten to me. Shh. I'm stab. <laughs> Oh. Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. I don't get it. What does the dog have to do with the O? <laughs> <laughs> my God, Toko. Seriously? They really did something that you Why are you believing her? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. I mean, she clearly just wants more Fifty Shades of Grey, or wants right. to write it. Fifty Shades of Biakria. If you compare the tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should become clear? Uh... Ah, wait, whoa, wait. whoa, yeah, the profile. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I hadn't actually gone through all the bullets, so... That's true. I got it! The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Okay, so... Yeah, nobody knows this. That's to true. To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? The image that represents Fenrir is... An argument? Oh, no. Oh, no! What? It's a wolf. I mean... That's suspicious. W. L. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. F. Boop, 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 boop. That's a suspiciously simple one starting out. Maybe it'll be like 50 of them. I mean, frankly, all this stuff has been really simple starting out. I'm kind of concerned. Fenrir is a wolf. Well, either that or we're completely in sync with the Maybe. game, I mean. It took us long enough. Well, that that could also mean that we're we're thinking about all the all the right things and suspecting all the right things. Yeah. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world-ending wolf beast. Why is Toko acting sensible and knowledgeable? What's going on? Well, this makes sense at least. Oh yeah, no, it, it totally makes sense because the writer. He's the child of the trickster god Loki. And a female giant. Oh god, Loki's bleeding into this game too! Oh! Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. Who wasn't making pervy statements? Can you talk about those? Isn't that what you started this trial with? I don't know what you're talking about. And that means... Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So either Mukuro wears fake nails, which seems awfully not uh, practical for the ultimate soldier. Well, didn't she? Or it's Duko. Well, when she showed up, didn't she say that she had cut her ties with Fenrir? I might be misremembering what they talked about. Like she vanished for three years and then showed back up and had cut ties with the with the mercenary group. Ah, uh, what? What? It was in the it was in the reports that uh, Byakuya made us read, and then read himself with his telescopic glasses. My God, there's been so much information since then. I don't actually remember what that was. I seem to recall something like that. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Hmm. And he's confirming it. I mean, we, we, the body has to be Mukuro because of the because right. of the tattoo. And it's not Kyoko because she's right there. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Hmm. Are you saying the mastermind is dead? Now we have to have a cool ass trial? Well, it was just our assumption that. Well, it, was, their no, it, was, it was everyone's assumption that Mukuro was the mastermind, and then Monokuma kind of played that up. Yeah. But. No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But Mukuro does make the regulations, or did. That's rather. what Monokuma said, yeah. It's just, it really, really seems like it's Kyoko. Who, kill, who killed Mukuro? But then, you know, you go back to the idea well. Who else could it be? Right? I, I mean, mean, I guess it could be Makoto. Possibly. Possibly. This and game's then, going to end early if it was, though. And then it goes... And then you go back to the idea of, like, maybe it... Of, like, the, the maybe it was Monokuma as the... Well, I mean, why, why couldn't it have been? Well, we don't have... The problem is we don't have any evidence for anybody or anything. Right? Really. So we have to get through the trial to get it. All we have is like the fragment of a bomb and like a wad of bloody duct tape. And the missing chicken! But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. But... But Mukuro Ikusaba is the ultimate soldier. Right! I was trying to feed you that line, yes. It's a good thing that you bought. Bit. Boot. I. Um. <laughs> shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. Right, right. Kyoko's the one who told us that. Her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. And then we told everyone else about Mukuro Ikusaba. 
That's true. The only person who used the word ultimate despair was Kyoko. Known as the ultimate despair. Doesn't that imply past tense? Well, you know, we even thought that Kyoko was in like a previous... Uh, killing game, yeah. Yeah, like a, like a previous run of this stuff. And maybe Mukuro was too. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. Yeah. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... And he's about to make that connection. Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? And Kyoko is like, this case is really crucial for me. Yeah. God, I really want to know what it is! <laughs> so that means Kyoko got it wrong? Mm, who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time, and when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually, when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. Now, don't you start talking about narrative focus like we often go off on. Though I suppose you are the one person who can. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? That's an interesting way to look at it. Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Albeit one that writes the rules. Yeah. Then, who's the real mastermind? Well, it could be somebody else here, or yeah. not. It's the chicken. It's the chicken! The chicken! The mastermind has fled the coop. It must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. Kyoko was the one who thought that it was, that it was Mukuro. Yeah. But demonstrably, it cannot be. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. She said it was just a feeling, but we already know there's all this stuff she just won't talk about. Yeah. My information was not wrong. Oh. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Why are you interrupting, Monokuma? I understand that that seems like we're going off on a tangent, but it seems to me like it's a pretty important tangent to yeah. go off on. He doesn't Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit chat as much as possible. He doesn't normally do this. Yeah, he does. Really? When he's we start going off in a direction that he doesn't want, like a deep discussion oh, of good ethics, point. and yeah. he's like, no, just shut up. Yeah, that's a good point. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to work. Okay, yeah. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. Hmm. I suspect we very well w will not find out who Monokuma is, or Monokuma is a different person in each game on that account of sense. there being a variety of Danganronpa games. That would make sense. But anyway, that's meta information. <laughs> I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. <laughs> you fell for them before, and then you've been provoking us, so you just go sulk in the corner away from everybody else, and we'll figure out what's going on, okay? Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Not that a student's killed another student, but a murder among the students. Yeah. Huh. And we don't know, um, we don't know what the cause of death was. No, we don't. Hammer that point straight into your big ol' brains. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? He didn't say that. That's what you're inferring. Then one of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along. Yasuhiro just yeah. made another argument that I've made before. <laughs> You're a genius! <laughs> Fine fellow to have around! <laughs> ha! I have to hold my ego together somehow. Nope. There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. So, if Mukuro is Junko, then there's an extra student. The guy who got killed at the beginning. In the rocket ship. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. If Mukuro is not Junko, then... Like, that would be fine, but why... Why then does that body... Yeah. ...have a lot in common with Junko? I mean, I guess someone could have put the nails on her. And put the boots on her, for that matter. Why? 
Well, if they were intending to mar the face, maybe as a way to point us to hmm. thinking it's Junko? Hmm. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Man, I hope it wasn't me! <laughs> did it? Who's the killer this time? Ah, I can't say it's not Makoto. Right? Hold with yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Although I still think that he shouldn't have narrowed uh, narrowed Aoi and Toko out. Yeah. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Uh, primarily either me or Kyoko. Yeah. Based on what we know, this is uh. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Us. I got it. <laughs> Narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. In as smug a way as possible. Uh, business as usual. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden, so I can confirm that at that point there was no dead body there. So the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. Now that does mean that Aoi, who was by herself when uh, she was waiting for Makoto uh -huh. in the cafeteria, right, could have done it at True. that time because she was by herself and the others were in the gym with mm -hmm. the, with disassembling Monokuma. The and and Toko was left for a long period of time, right. Although I mean I doubt either of those, yeah. but it's like we're talking about possibilities. That's actually most everybody here. Why doesn't he want to discuss those? Though again, I don't think it's those two. Right. Nor do I think it's guy. I don't know. <laughs> I see you're having trouble saying was, what to say. I was trying to say, nor do I think it's Kyoko, but I, I can't say that. Right. And I can't say that I don't think it's Makoto. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't say that. I'm not even sure I don't want to say it's Monokuma. <laughs> I can't say any of that, so I don't know. Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. Except for the time that that commentator said. I mean, if you if if the tarp dealt with certain aspects, like if the tarp allowed for like transportation in the body a little bit, then it could have happened at a different time. But that's enough. It doesn't right. matter. That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. Yeah, Kyoko doesn't know about that. That's true. The whole time we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. It was really awkward when he suggested that like Toko and I go. <laughs> That's I was it... just effing with you. That does sound like something he would do. <laughs> I wonder why, why Kyoko knew where the body was. She just happened to show up from the second floor of the dorms just in time to hear the body announcement and then just happened to go class right trial to the body. She heard the class trial or, announcement. Yeah, that's what I meant, was the class trial announcement. Then she just mm. happened to know exactly where the body was, never went to the gym. In like 10 minutes? There's no way she searched all over Hope's Peak in 10 minutes. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it. I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. What is this? The first trial? I didn't do it. Right?